Hey everyone and welcome back to the 31 days of Halloween and how exciting is this? This is super exciting for me. So today we are going to go right back to 1990 when Stephen King came out with Pennywise and It Movie. I, you know, being an 80s kid, I was like, yes, let's go see this movie. When I seen that movie, totally freaked myself out. I absolutely hate clowns and I'm like, why am I doing this? But I am. So we are going to go right back to the original It. You know, the new It was just out recently. So I was like, you know what, let's go back to the original one. I'm super excited to do this look for you guys. I will be doing a voiceover and I will be letting you know all the products that I will be using and how I created certain things with the wig that I purchased that was originally green and it went into red. So with that being said, let's jump right into the 31 days of Halloween. First, I'm gonna go in with the Skangaroo face paint in white, and I'm just gonna be applying this to my eyebrows right now with any ordinary foundation brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with a flower eye pencil, and this is in the shade Navy, and I'm just going to map out the triangles on my eyes so none of the Skangaroo paint won't get there in that area. You could really use any Navy eyeliner that you want. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Sephora eyeliner, and I'm just gonna be taking this and putting it in my waterline just to really darken up my waterline area and to give the illusion of my eyes looking a little bit smaller than what they are. Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara just to apply to my lashes so the Skangaroo paint won't get onto my lashes. Now I'm going to go ahead with the Skangaroo paint and I'm going to apply this all over my face. I really love this face paint. You can purchase it at Michael's. It's only $14.99 and then if you have the 50% off coupon, that's even better. Next up, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm just applying the white shade just over the areas that seem to be like showing my skin. And what I find that really helps with this face paint is that if I go in with a beauty blender after and really pack it into my skin because then it makes it really pigmented. Now I'm going to go in with the blue shade and I'm just taking a really small detailed brush and I'm going to be applying this to my triangles. <laughs> you could really use any blue makeup that you have really take your time with this try to be really nice and precise and just go ahead and fill it in now I'm really getting into character next I'm gonna go in with the black shade from the makeup forever flash palette and I'm just going to be applying this to my waterline to make my eyes look really small right now on top of the Sephora eye pencil and I'm just using a small detail brush now I'm gonna head and take that same black and I'm just going to start to draw the lines underneath my eyes just really take your time with this it can be a little bit tricky to try to get it really straight but you really don't need to because you know a little bit messy will add to the look now I'm going to go in with the black skangaroo paint and I'm going to go over that black shade from the flash palette just to darken it up a little bit more now I'm going to go ahead with the red from the flash palette and I'm also going to be using the NYX I do believe it was Monte Carlo and I'm just going to take it and apply a little thin line to my lip because you want to give the illusion of really small lips now I'm just going to be following the real actual crease in my lip like say my frown line <laughs> and I'm just going to be applying the product right there just to give the illusion that it looks like I have sad lips so really take your time with this because you really want it to be really nice and precise and really detailed with the lines Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and fill it all in and then I'm just going to take more product and I'm going to draw the top of my lip but this here you have to be like really precise as well and draw really really small small top lip. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Monte Carlo and I'm just going to apply it over that red. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually taking the blue from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm going to be taking the diamond shapes and applying it up onto my wig cap just to make it look more put together. Then I'm going to be taking the Sephora 
eye pencil in black and I'm just going to be drawing the brows onto the wig. So here is the wig that I purchased from Value Village. I only paid $16.99 for it. I got the can hairspray that's red and I sprayed it red. Definitely do it outside because it's pretty fumey. Then I'm just going to take my wig hairbrush and I'm just teasing it out. And this hair I also purchased at Value Village and it's a whole set and it came with the teeth and the nose and the suit I got from Spared Halloween. I'm going to go ahead and pop on the nose just to finish this look off. Seeing myself as a clown, especially Pennywise, is really freaking me out. I had a lot of fun creating Pennywise for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!